Nearly 200 million tons of plastic are used worldwide every year. Most of the plastic found in stores is manufactured from crude oil. But what most people don't know is that shampoo bottles, liquid detergent containers, plastic wrap and the fuel tank of your car can also be made from natural gas. It's another way of unlocking the value of this natural resource. But how do Total's chemical engineers turn gas into solids? Let's start at the beginning. Natural gas straight from the field contains varying amounts of ethane, as shown by analyses. Our engineers use the ethane as the building block for a set of chemical reactions that convert gas into plastic. First, the ethane has to be recovered from the natural gas. The gas is cooled to minus 100 degrees Celsius, the temperature at which ethane condenses, making it easy to recover. The ethane is processed to obtain plastic pellets. It takes one and a quarter tons of ethane to manufacture one ton of plastic. The conversion process starts with ethane being piped to a plant where the ethane molecules will be converted to ethylene molecules. That involves triggering a chain reaction known as cracking. The principle is simple. The molecules are heated to a very high temperature, 850 degrees Celsius, that causes them to crack or separate into a mixture consisting mainly of ethylene and hydrogen. The ethylene is what we want. The gaseous mixture is purified to produce pure ethylene, which is then piped to another plant where it undergoes further chemical conversion. The objective of this second step is to obtain polyethylene pellets. Let's get back to the process. The purified ethylene is pumped into a reactor where it is mixed with butene. A catalyst is then sprayed in the reactor causing an astonishing reaction. The molecules bond to form a long chain changing from a gas to a solid. This long chain of ethylene molecules is what's known as polyethylene. The butene is added to obtain the required stiffness and impact strength. The polyethylene comes out of the reactor as a white powder. To make it easier to transport, Total processes the powder into plastic pellets. This takes place in an extruder, where the powder is melted, mixed and cut. 